and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to import Minecraft Bedrock Edition Worlds. This can be on Windows, iOS, Android, it doesn't matter, it all works the exact same. If you're on console like Xbox or Nintendo Switch though, this method probably don't, won't work for you sadly. Anyways, as you can see, you want obviously a world first off. I've got just my world over here in my downloads. You want to locate um, the world that you want to import, of course. Usually this will be in your downloads if you, for example, downloaded it from the internet. Now, whether you're on mobile or Windows, you should just be able to simply double click on this file or in on mobile, just double tap it with your finger and the world import will start automatically as you can see. If that doesn't work for you then you need to associate Minecraft with this world file. On Windows we would right click, go to open with and then choose the Minecraft program right over here. Alternatively you can also choose Minecraft Preview or even Minecraft Education Edition if you're importing it into that. Just make sure you choose the correct app. On mobile, what you would do is press and hold on the file. That would bring up a menu kind of similar to this one. They want to choose the share option. And then through the share option, you want to select Minecraft. So usually in the share option, there's a bunch of applications that you can choose there. And from that list, you want to select Minecraft. Once you've done that, as you can see, you'll notice world import started and then world import finished successfully. If you get the message that the world import failed, you're able to actually click on the pop-up in most situations and you'll get more information. And finally, I will also link a Minecraft Bedrock World Fixer down in the, um, in the description below. And if your world is broken, if it isn't importing correctly, then you can just run it through that. And what that's gonna do is make sure that your world is indeed functioning how it should. It's going to loop through all of the most common errors and try and fix them for you. It'll supply you with a new download that you can once again try to import. Anyways, for right now, as you can see, I've got my world here a whopping three times. I already had it once and I've imported it twice. Alternatively, you can actually also head into the settings area over here, go to storage, and then you can find a list of all your worlds right down here where you can also manage them. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.